Welcome to the seventh level of the North Beach Parking Garage in Clearwater Beach, Florida. everyone I am Tampa J who's excited for spring break 2020 I am who's coming down here who's coming down here on vacation for spring break or who has ever been here for spring break I have I used to actually live here and before that I used to vacation here with my family every spring break I wanted to watch a sunset tonight right there on the beach I do these live streams called sunsets with Jay which I haven't done in a while I need to get back to that but today I'm doing it in the vlog. We're gonna watch a sunset later at the end of the video. So stick around for that. I'm glad you're here. It wouldn't be the same without you. There is much ahead, my friends. But before we hit ground level today, I'd like to stop and take advantage of these awesome views here from level seven of the parking garage. Clearwater Beach has changed a lot in the last 16 years I've known it. A lot of these commercial hotels are being constructed replacing some of the smaller mom and pop resorts. This building here is the Clearwater Hilton. It is actually where Paris Hilton and Nicole Ritchie once stayed. Traffic is backing up on the causeway. That is not a foreign sight. That bridge can get pretty heavy coming in and off the beach. But one thing I do suggest is you do not have to come in that way. You can actually take the Sand Key Bridge. It's actually a lot quicker because of the traffic. It's it's maybe a little more in distance, but it is a whole lot quicker than sitting in that traffic. The commercial hotels have sunk into the Clearwater Beach area. It's changed a lot since I lived here, but there are still some mom and pop beach resorts and these little bungalows that you can rent. Kind of looks like we're in Key West at the moment. It's got that tropical vibe. Going down. Well, hello there, my friends. That was fun, wasn't it? We're headed down the strip towards Pier 60. Look, Spider-Man loves Clearwater Beach. What's up, Spidey? You right? Are you excited for spring break? Yeah. See, so you're hanging in there for it. Look at this awesome water slide. It's a three shoot, actually, a, more of a six shoot. I think there's two on each shoot. Freestyle slides. It sits right here next to Pier 60. A lot of fun stuff like this sitting right here. Spring break has officially begun. This is pretty packed for a weeknight. A couple hours from sunset even. It is some beautiful weather out here. I'm excited to get down in the sand later and watch the sunset. It's gonna be a pretty one, I can just feel it. Hooked on Pier 60, just beyond this gift shop and bait shop is the fishing pier. General mission, one dollar each person, please pay inside. All right, here we go. All kinds of clear wood of each merchant here. Just like a good old Florida gift shop should have. Thank you. That's too much fun. Check out all the gator heads. Look at that. Wow, there's some big ones down there too. Pretty cool. Ugh. All right, I paid my dollar. You can use card, they, they don't mind if you use card. Been to Clearwater several times, but this is the first time we have been out past this store. He's waiting for fish scraps. He knows what's good. He knows he might get some too. Maybe some lost bait, some dropped shrimp, or perhaps some little minnows. You too, huh, buddy? Waiting for something to eat, aren't we? All right, we're gonna walk out to the end of the pier real quick. Still got a little time before the 
sun starts to set. I hope you're having a good time out here. This is fun. I grabbed myself a coffee at the Starbucks at the Hilton right before I hit the pier. Man, this is fun. This is relaxing too. The weather is beautiful. It's like 82 degrees. Nice little breeze. The sun is warm. Mm. Check out the parasailer. Coming out of the sun there. There's all kinds of places to parasail here on Clearwater Beach. It's fun. I've done it before. I haven't done it here though. I, I did it once in Key West. It's just a peaceful spot to chill. Especially on a work night. I came here after work just to watch the sunset. Although this is a fantastic place to watch the sunset, we're gonna watch it from the sand. We still have a little time before the sun hits the horizon. For our next destination, we're headed to Jimmy's Crow Nest on the roof of the smaller building all the way to the left. There's a great view up there. Pier 60 house, home of Jimmy's Crow's Nest. Countdown to tonight's sunset. One hour and 11 minutes. So you come inside the door and the elevators are immediately on your right. Level 10 will be Jimmy's. Boom. Just enough time to get a drink and something to eat before we head back down to the beach to watch the sunset. Let's check this place out. You're gonna like the view, I promise. And that's where we just were. Pier 60. Just look at it for a second as we explore Jimmy's crow nest. The bar and patio, and there's all kinds of seats, great seats with great views. I'm gonna sit right here up against the marina. Look at that view. I'm gonna order something, but I'll explain what we're looking at. Captain Nemo's pirate cruise just came into port. Check it out, everyone's getting off the boat. So the building right in the center is Krabby's, a seafood restaurant, which used to be called Krabby Bill's. That was actually my first job. I worked there as an expo diter and a busboy in high school, right when we first moved to Clearwater Beach. And check it out, the shark is heading out to sea there. That's actually a dolphin cruise. Look at that, that's fierce, isn't it? And right there, we're staring at the Clearwater Marina. We've been there a couple times before, but never had this view of it. There goes good old Sharky out to sea. See you later, Sharky. And if you look right out there, that's where we started the video. That is the North Beach parking garage. We've got quite a few breathtaking views of Clearwater Beach, and I'd like to mention that they are absolutely free. I haven't paid for anything. Well, I paid a dollar to go out there, I guess. One dollar out there, but up here, free. Unless you order something, which you're probably gonna order something, but might as well order something here and set it down there and get this awesome view. Check out the sailboat about to pass by the pier. That's a beautiful sail right there. There goes the little toot out to sea. That's another dolphin sightseeing cruise. Okay, so I have Jimmy's signature drink list. A lot of yummy stuff on here, but I'm gonna have to go with the rooftop rum runner. It says it's a local favorite. Lots of yummy food here. A lot of starters, bowls and salad, wraps, quesadilla, and even wings and pizza. But I think I'm just gonna go with some chips, salsa, and guac. The chips and guac and the rum runner. The guac is made with fresh avocado. And the salsa is homemade and fresh too. It is delicious. Here's a toast to all of you at home. Happy spring break 2020. Cheers, my friends. Oh man, that tastes like paradise. Ooh, that is really good. Wish you could try some, my friends. Here, have some. There goes Captain Nemo's Pirate Cruise. Going out for the Sunset Cruise, actually. And so are we. We are about to set sail ourselves. It's gonna be a beautiful sunset, too. Clear skies. See 
see you later. We've got to get moving and back down to the sand. The sun is getting closer to the horizon. Such a beautiful evening on Clearwater Beach. Just across the street from the North Beach parking garage, we got to come to Marco Street, Mandalay Avenue, to my favorite spot to watch the sunset. And just to the right as you walk upon the sand are these dunes and this is where I like to watch the sunset. You get a nice little view of the Gulf of Mexico. Look at that, it's almost time. Wow, look how gorgeous it is out here. Pier 60 just right over there where we were earlier. I love these colors. The ambiance of the water and the sun. The aqua. And the yellow. This looks like a great oh, this looks like a great spot to watch the sunset. Actually it is my favorite spot to watch the sunset. Moments away. Look at it, starting to bleed into the horizon. There's actually a boat coming in. It's gonna be pretty close. It might actually go right through the sun as it sets. Wow. Just moments away as this boat is coming in. Looks like a dolphin cruise. And there she goes, she's starting to set. Wow, that's beautiful. Those people out there on the boat are probably getting a pretty nice view of it. It's also one of my goals to do one of these sunsets from a boat out there. That would be pretty cool. Like I said, it could be here, it could be anywhere. Maybe on the west coast one day. It's gonna go right through the sun. There she goes. Check out the birds out there flying. A lot of people on the beach too. And there it is, the last part of the sun. Barely hanging on there. There it goes. Look at the sky, isn't it beautiful? Just a little bit left. Ladies and gentlemen, another day in the books. We made it. There went the sun. Man, that was cool, wasn't it? <laughs> And in just a few moments, the twilight sets in.
Well guys, unfortunately, this is going to be the end of it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you next time. Check out Tampa J on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. There are links to all those social media outlets somewhere up on my YouTube page. But I hope you had a fun time today on Clearwater Beach. If you come down here on spring break or vacation, have a good time. And be safe. Have fun. But be safe. Always be safe. Even though this is the end of the video, it is not the end of this journey. There is much ahead, my friends. I'll see you next time.